A record surplus of green cards available this year is putting the pressure on top immigration agency officials to issue all available visas before the fiscal year ends. Visit us at Southern Beach Channel with your questions to see how best we can help you out your process. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Now, let's get into the video. More than 66,000 employment-based green cards went to waste last year as U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services officials worked through massive pandemic-driven backlogs and an unprecedented number of petitions for work visas. The agency faces an even bigger workload this year than last, 280,000 green cards compared to 262,000 in fiscal 2021, but said it's well positioned to issue all of the available visas before the fiscal year ends September 30th. The unprecedented number of available work-based green cards could mean an infusion of newly mobile workers to help meet an ongoing labor shortage. Unlike temporary work visas such as H-1BS, green cards allow workers to switch employers freely without losing their immigration status. The green card surplus also promises faster resolution for thousands of Indian and Chinese immigrants stuck in years-long backlogs because of per-country visa caps. We're definitely seeing an increase in the number of approvals coming through, said Emily Newman, a managing partner at Ready and Newman PC in Houston. I hope it's not too little, too late. The high numbers of available employment-based green cards over the past two years are a result of closures and limited capacity at U.S. embassies and consular offices amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Many family-based visas the State Department didn't process abroad rolled over the following year into the employment-based category, which typically has a cap of 140,000 visas per year. The problem last fiscal year was massive barriers before we could even start working through green card applications, according to a USCIS official. Those barriers included a massive log of unopened applications and a long queue of biometric appointments to collect fingerprints and applicants' photographs that had accumulated with offices closed during the pandemic. The agency also struggled to work efficiently under a mostly paper-based system, according to a 2021 report from the Department of Homeland Security's Office of Inspector General. USCIS eventually issued 180,000 green cards last year, more than a typical year but, still well short of the total available number. Previous failures to process visas before the fiscal year deadline led a group of Chinese and Indian green card applicants to sue USCIS in federal district court in Washington state this week. The complaint argued that green card waste is a self-made crisis because the agency only counts visas as issued after a lengthy adjudication process. A similar lawsuit brought by green card applicants last year in a bid to have their cases adjudicated was closed after a federal judge in Maryland severed the claims based on location on the eve of the fiscal year deadline. They're definitely in a better place than they were in the prior fiscal year, Sharvari Dalaldini, Director of Government Relations at the American Immigration Lawyers Association, said of USCIS. But the public has yet to see data from USCIS that would show a significant improvement from the pace of the previous year and allay fears of green cards again going to waste, she said. As of mid-June, USCIS had used significantly more visas than at the same point last year and was issuing twice as many on a weekly basis, an agency spokesman said. The agency declined to provide specific numbers on green cards issued to date. USCIS already has moved some staff resources away from other immigration services to processing green cards instead. The agency also redistributed applications among field offices to spread workloads more evenly. The agency additionally has used a risk-based approach to waive interview requirements and urged applicants to prepare to submit medical forms as soon as their applications are taken up. And it's encouraged others to transfer their applications from one employment-based visa category to another with lower demand where eligible, a process known as interfiling. Although USCIS isn't facing the same initial barriers this year as in fiscal 2021, an influx of Afghans and Ukrainians seeking humanitarian relief and a staff vacancy rate of nearly 20% continue to present challenges. The agency is undertaking a massive hiring drive with an aim to fill 95% of positions by the end of the calendar year as part of efforts to address efficiency and reduce backlogs, USCIS Director Yor Jadu said at a recent conference. But new staffers could spend weeks in training before they can begin processing applications. They already said they don't have the capacity because of labor shortages that they're dealing with, 
said Greg Siskind, an immigration attorney at Siskind Susser PC. Just because you're hiring a bunch of people doesn't mean you'll immediately have them all onboarded and ready to go adjudicate petitions. I hope you guys found this video extremely helpful. If you know anybody that could benefit from this information, definitely make sure to share this video with them. We are all about empowering you with knowledge. So the more people that can benefit from this video, the more people we want watching this video. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs icon. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell for more immigration updates. Bye!